This is just kind of a mini review of the SRC G36K Gen 2. Okay, well, this doesn't come with it. The grip pod does not come with it. The tip, when you get it, it is orange, but I sanded the paint off. Um, the handguard does have rails, but I took them off because it's a little bit front heavy since the battery's in there and the rails just add more weight. Um, in the box, you get two high caps which they feed perfectly but they don't fit in the magwell very well they wobble quite a bit and they, the texture is pretty nice but the material is like cheap and it doesn't feel that strong um... you get a usual cleaning rod crap BBs and um... like a manual that shows like basic maintenance and stuff like that um, here, I'll show you how the mags fit. See, they wobble quite a bit. And the high caps are already noisy enough as it is. I bought a box of star mid caps. They hold uh, like 150. They fit like perfect. There's like no wobble. And if you accidentally bump the mag release, they won't fall out. Which is nice because I've broken the tabs on my other high caps because they fell out. Um, yeah, the tape doesn't come on them. That's just what I put on there. Um, yeah, they feed perfectly, and they feel nice and durable. I'd recommend those. Okay, the selector switch. Mine came off the left side, and there's a little plastic piece that goes into like a little hole and it helps it lock into place and I lost that so I just took my soldering iron and like played with the solder till I got like a little ball about the same size as that piece of plastic so it now works pretty good it's not as good as it was but yeah the selector switch does click in very nicely a lot better than Echo One and JG's um, the finish, yeah, you probably can't see that, okay, yeah, you can, there's little smudges everywhere, it's not all over the place, but mainly the body and the, um, grip, the hand guard doesn't really have anything, but other than the smudges, the body feels amazing, the texture is really good, the it just feels really solid. And the thing I don't like about the body is the stock is pretty hard. The button is pretty hard to push in. But it does lock in place pretty good. I mean, you could... It wobbles a tad when it's um, locked. But it's pretty good. It'll stay on. Um... The metal parts would be the mag release, right there, the trigger, the selector switches, the top rail of the scope is metal, um, the rails that go on the side are metal, metal, barrel, outer barrel is metal, the flash hider is metal, charging handles metal and the little charging handles metal and I don't know what you call this but part of the charging handle is also metal <laughs> stock buttons metal um yeah that's metal one thing I like a lot more about this gun compared to the Neko one is that the handguard pin can come out with just your, using your hands. The Echo ones and JGs, like you need like a jamming rod or something to push it out. This just goes in really easy, in and out really easy. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. Okay. Well, here's my Echo one. G36. 
G36A8s in pieces and stuff because I need a new piston and piston head. You probably can't see how the body looks compared to the SOC, but it definitely does not feel as nice or look as nice. The Echo one is really shiny plastic and it just doesn't feel very good. The SRC is made of like nylon polymer fiberglass stuff or something like that. I think it's the same material as a real steel gun. So it feels really nice. Um, this kind of surprised me. The wiring on the SRC looks like I'm guessing 20 gauge. The Echo One slash JG wiring is looks to be like 18. So the Echo One's got thicker wiring. And the SOC's wiring is pretty hard to bend, but it'll stay in place when you bend it. It's kind of weird. Um, scope. Scope, from what I can tell, cannot be adjusted. But you can compensate for it by aiming a couple inches to the right in my gun. Try to see if you can see the scope. And it's too hard to see. Um, the scope is really clear. I, I really like it. Um, I'm guessing around three times magnification. The eye relief is not that bad. A lot of people say it's like horrible, but it's really not that bad. With flak jack goggles, you can easily use a scope, but like with a paintball mask, you wouldn't be able to. Or like thicker goggles, but you just get your eye pretty close and it's fine. It's not uncomfortable or anything. And you can always use the scope for like scouting and put an optic up here for shooting. Um, battery placement, like installing the battery. Um, let me go grab it. I use a 1500 mAh 9.6 volt nunchuck uh, with Elite Cells, cheapbatterypacks.com. It's a great place to buy batteries. It's really cheap and you get really nice stuff. The wiring I used was 18 gauge and use a small Tamiya female. Let me show you how I install it. Let me put the camera down. The easiest way I found stupid strap to install a battery is to get out the light is terrible in here is to connect it obviously and then rather than putting it in like this I put it in like this so the wiring goes like that that's the easiest way I found to put it in the Echo One's battery compartment is a little bit easier to use because so, it has like feet right there and it's just it holds the battery in better but if they're both pretty easy to get the battery in I don't think you could use much a much bigger battery than like 1700 ma but I could be wrong um what else Unlike the Echo One, the SRC's flash hider, after you take the little hex screw out, which is a 1.5 millimeter screw, it just you, it's counterclockwise and it comes off like easy. You don't need to use hot water or anything. The Echo One is also counterclockwise, and even after taking out the hex screw, I had to use pliers to pull it off because it was just screwed on that tight. It was got glue. See all the little markings from the pliers? It's a pain in the you know what to get off. Um, my charging handle broke on my Echo One because I pulled it a little hard. The SRC has a metal charging handle so it'll probably last longer. Internally, the SRC's probably win. 
They both have plastic spring guides. They both have pretty nice pistons. They're okay for what they are. The SRC has a steel gear set apparently. I don't know what the Echo one has. But one thing really nice is the SRC's higher torque motor. It like grabs anything metal that's near it, like through the handguard. It's really nice. Um, the SRC has a higher rate of fire, maybe like one or two rounds per second. But the gearbox sounds so much nicer and it's a lot more quiet. Even after I've reshimmed and re-greased my Echo one, it still doesn't sound that good. And I'm running out of time, so I'll have to continue this. Thanks for watching.